Hey, are you in Calc 1 and wondering what a derivative actually is? Well, I'm Mark from Ace Tutors, and I'm here to explain just that. Okay, so what the heck are derivatives? At its core, a derivative is a way to find the slope of a function at any point. But what does that actually mean? Well, let's see with an example. Say you have this line y equals 2x minus 1. What is the slope of this line? Using your previous knowledge, you may notice that this equation is in the form y equals mx plus b, and in that case, you can easily see that the slope is equal to 2. If you didn't see that, you can always use the classic rise over run formula. For this line, plugging in these two points, 1, 1, and 0, negative 1, you would get that the slope of the line is also 2. Boom! You just found your first derivative. Now again, all a derivative is, is a way to find the slope of a function at any point. But why was the line example so simple? Well, what is the slope of that function at any point, aka the derivative? What is the slope at this point, or this point, or this point? The answer is 2 no matter what, right? This example is so straightforward because the slope was not changing at any of these points. But what happens when we have a graph like this? What do we do now? With a curve like this, what does it even mean to find its derivative? Or again, the slope at any point? Well, the slope at a given point along the curve is defined by the line that is tangent to the graph or only touching the graph at that single point. And we already know how to find the slope of a line, so it should be pretty easy, right? Well, unlike the line example, the slope or the tangent line on the graph is changing at every point along the curve. So instead of just being a constant value like 2 in the previous example, the derivative will be a function like this, where you can plug in any x value and get the graph slope at that point. But how the heck are we supposed to find the derivative function? That is where calculus comes to our rescue. Calculus provides several techniques and rules that can be followed to find the derivative of any function you'll come across. Pretty soon, you'll be able to take the derivative of this, or this, or even this bad boy without even batting an eye. Thanks for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.